Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this gold paint splotched black cake. I'm starting off with the isomold shard. I tried the sprinkles brand, the one that I'm creating here, which suggested adding some water. You gotta read the instructions um, for the brand that you choose, but I ended up making another one using the over the top brand. I found it a lot easier to work with, but basically once it's melted, I like to pour it over a silicon mat, make sure you wear gloves because this is going to be piping hot and creating those little spikes in the shard by pouring it in those areas. If you wanted to, you could just make a central puddle and lift your mat to help move the liquid around. Um, but I found it a little bit easier to kind of create it while dripping it off. That way you can control for how many you have and how long they are. Drape it over a glass, let it set, and then melt down some compound chocolate. I've got the Nestle dark chocolate here. Pour it into some molds and then using the back of a spoon to help move the chocolate up and around the side walls of your cavities. Allow the chocolate to set and in the meantime, you can remove the silicon from your isomalt shard. Usually it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour for it to cool down completely and set to be safe enough to remove your silicon. Our chocolate is now set. I'm going on with a second layer all around just to really reinforce the structure, make sure that it's nice and strong and it doesn't break apart when we try to pull it out. I pop it into the fridge and then I have my stacked six inch cake that's already been crumb coated. I am adding a layer of black buttercream. This is actually buttercream that has been mixed with dark chocolate ganache to get it like a nice dark brown. And then I loaded it up with black gel food color the rest of the way. If there's anyone interested in cake decorating classes, we have lots of pre-recorded ones. I'll leave that linked in the description and in the link in our bio for you. Smooth out the sides, clean up your cake board ASAP because that black can stain your beautiful, pristine white cake board. And then with the lip raised, I'm gonna pop it into the fridge, allow it to set overnight. And then that morning I have a super sharp knife dipped in boiling hot water and I am cutting off that top lip to create a completely sharp and flush top edge of the cake. For the gold splotches, I've added some alcohol with a lust dust. So I've just got rum, I believe I used here. Use your finger to kind of pull back on the brush bristles and this will create a cool splotched paint effect. Big, um, make sure to have some tape on the board to make sure that the gold doesn't stain your cake board. With that same paint and the same brush, I'm just going to highlight the edges of the isomalt iso shard. Now that that's ready, we can prepare our little chocolate spears. So just gently pressing them out. They've also been resting in the fridge overnight. So they're nice and strong. I then have a fry pan that I've heated lightly over a stove and I'm melting the edges of each half spear so they stick together and then when the position is right I'm going to gently remove the excess chocolate with my finger. To dust them into a nice gold shimmer I've got some edible gold luster dust. I recommend the Rolkin brand they tend to be 100% edible but do check the label because sometimes that can change. Once they've all been dusted, you can now apply them onto your cake, sticking them on with a little bit of black buttercream just at the back there. If you don't have any little Maltesers to stick on, but you have blueberries in the fridge, they actually hold on to the lust of dust really well, so you could use blueberries as well. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. If you do recreate it and want to share some photos, I would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Thanks again for being with us and we'll catch you in the next one.